It's a windy one. For about two hours but it's been really windy and so I finally got a chance to come on here and say hi if you can see we finally made it to the Nevada state line so we're leaving California and we're heading off to Nevada um, I'm a Nevada girl born and raised in Reno Nevada so I'm really excited about this portion and um, I just showed you a view of the Carson Valley so it's really cool that now we're up on this ridge and we're getting a different view on the other side Lake Tahoe is still on our left we can't see it right now but it's really nice to kind of switch up the views and see something different especially of my own home state Also, I am very happy to report that we finally crossed the halfway mark of our Tahoe Rim Trail through hike. So we're at like 86.3 miles right now. And I'm taking that from saying the Tahoe Rim Trail is 170.5 miles. But either way, we're, we've officially made it over halfway and that's just exciting mentally and physically. <laughs> So, yeah, it feels really good. However, Diana's heel, her left heel, has been hurting really bad. So we're trying to do stretches and massage it out and take anti-inflammatories and take breaks as much as possible. But, yeah, she's in a lot of pain. So I'm not sure what we're going to do about that. Hopefully it subsides and doesn't get worse. But yeah, we're just trying to take it slow, but also I'm really hoping that we can pick up the mileage a little bit, but you know, if she's in a lot of pain, like there's no point in pushing it. We don't really have anywhere to be. So if we need to take another day or two and spread out the miles, then I think that's what we're gonna do. We're just out here to have fun and enjoy nature and take some beautiful footage and that, you know, that's about it. It's pretty simple. Here's my favorite part of nature, ski lifts. <laughs> Look who we found. It's Tug and he's in the water. Here we go. Woo! Oh, they got me full of water a few times. That means Tongo and Chip and Sonia are behind. We saw, we're like, what? <laughs> Look at this dog. Oh, I'm gonna move. I think these horses want water. Tug, come here. Come here. Chip needs some water.
<laughs> we just see him running over. I just start busting up laughing. Betty. And then I have this big, big winter coat. Yeah. I'm yeah. in with that, so it's just edges sticking out. So I just took a picture. This dog is just. What a light this dog has. All right, watch out. Oh, oh. 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 bye, Chip. Now it's Tongo's turn. Um, Good girl. It's weird, you know? Yeah. So you two stand together. I want to get a picture. We're in a pickle. Okay. I'm going to get off right here. They're in a pickle. There they go. Chips eating like normal. This is the last time we'll see him on the trail. <laughs> Chip's like, wait. Tug's like, Bye. let's go, man. Oh. Wow. How do you feel about our friends leaving? Uh, you know, I think we can catch him. You want to catch him? That yeah. was really fun, though. That was so cool. Like, to see them at different parts of the trail. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. And can I just please say, yeah. like, that woman's a badass. Yeah. Or you know, that woman is crazy. <laughs> Crazy awesome. Crazy badass. Yeah. Hashtag oh. inspiration. <laughs> it's always torture seeing resorts and pools and condos when you're on trail. There's another one through the trees right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice comfy beds, hot food, showers. Must be nice. This is called Edgewood Creek. It's got some really nice cold water. It's pretty abundant, it's flowing. So this beautiful creek is our last water for 36 miles, um, according to my GPS. However, uh, Diana and I are meeting my parents tomorrow at the Spooner Trailhead. So we're going to be able to break up that long, that long 36 miles without water. But her and I each only have a two liter carrying capacity. So we have to make these two liters of water last for 24 hours until we meet my parents tomorrow afternoon. So yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a struggle. If you can tell, I'm pretty hot. Uh, red, it's really exposed out here so what I'm gonna do is I am going to drink a lot of water right now I think we both are and just get our body super hydrated and then take our two liters and try to ration it so yeah that's we heard the this part of the trail the east side was dry and yeah but this I think this section is going to be the worst um, or the longest so we just got to get through this <sighs> Guest house, thanks. There's South Lake Tahoe.
Bass Lake Tahoe, baby! Woo, woo, woo! Man! Oh, I love it! They're chasing each other. It's hard to see because of the trees, but those are thunderstorm clouds. So we're hearing thunder. It seems to be like over the lake. And I'm hoping we're not going that far north tonight, but we'll see. <sighs> There's Diana. <laughs> and there's Lake Tahoe. We made it to camp. This is our makeshift campsite on the side of this ridge. There you go. Yes, now no mine. Oh, wow. That's right. We found some flat spots, so we took them because our feet are dead. <laughs> Diana's tent just <laughs> collapsed on her, so things are going well here. I would say so. Yeah. We're pretty tired. I think we did 16 and a half miles today. Really? Yeah. So this last climb really got, got us. So we're happy to be done, but um, we need to get Diana's tent up. Because <laughs> right now she doesn't have a tent. So, but the view's beautiful. That's all that matters. <laughs> okay, laugh. Diana has to do everything in her power to not laugh when I'm taking a video. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's <laughs> show them. Okay, this is the dirt that is coming off of my feet right now. Is that yeah. <laughs> I don't clean my feet, so... I, I don't know what's worse. Like, yeah, I don't cleaning know. your feet or not cleaning your feet? Let's see your toes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can you zoom in on that pinky? Yeah, hold it up. Yeah. Hold it up. Oh, <laughs> that's open flesh wound. Yeah. So, Diana's having uh, blister problems. <laughs> I don't I'm, have one blister. I'm just falling apart right now. I'm falling apart at the seams. Yeah, you are. But you know what? I'm in it to win it. Yeah. But I'm falling apart at the seams. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. What do we have? Oh, God. Ooh. Okay, that's enough for today. We're going to bed. <laughs> we've, we've really had enough. <laughs> okay, last thing before bed. Um, really proud of Diana and I. We did 16 and a half miles today. But just so you know, Diana also said that's the last time we'll be doing that and we have to go back to 12 miles a day. Isn't that right? I don't know what you're talking about. You're just making stuff up right now. I'm not. <laughs> we have to do 16 miles on Monday because we can't uh, camp in like a 16 mile stretch. Um, but after that, we'll be going back down to like 12 or 13 miles, which I'm fine with. So we did a big day today and I'm proud of us. Um, but that'll be the last time. <laughs> she says it, but it's not true. What? Taking our time is, it's enjoyable. 13 miles is still a lot. I can see on Thursday you being like, you know what, let's just try and tackle 30. Yeah, you know, I probably would. I'm like, let's get done today. Let's get done today. 
And let's just do 28 miles. 20 miles, and let's do it barefoot and run the whole way. Yes. That's what I see. Yeah, but 16.6 .6 miles is pretty good. That is pretty good. Yeah.